What's going on everybody? Jacob here from the Nutrition Store. And if you're like a lot of the people that come here to the store, you've been in the gym for a while and you've gone through periods of stalling out. In this video, I'm gonna be piggybacking off of our previous video, talking about the three steps that you need to implement to actually make progress. This is for those of you guys that have taken those steps and advice. We're gonna talk about what to do when you hit a plateau. So assuming that you followed the advice in video one, talking about quantifying your progress by keeping a logbook of information on what you're doing, how you're doing it and how you're moving forward. This is going to help you a lot because there is going to come to a point where you cannot constantly add five to 10 pounds to every movement every single week. That's gonna happen really a lot sooner than you think. I've faced this multiple times myself. There's a lot of periodization strategies that you can implement here to help you move forward. The first being a deload. A deload gets thrown around a lot in the fitness industry between powerlifting, even bodybuilding, strongman, et cetera. A deload is simply a weak or a certain time period following a intensive training cycle where you start to, or you train at 50% of your maximum capacity so that you give your CNS and your body time to recover. This might be a viable option. However, if you're not on the traditional periodization technique of training, the best thing that I can always recommend is that you do a simple reset. What is a reset? Let's say, for example, you've been going into the gym and squatting every single week, adding 10 to 15 pounds every single session that you're going up. You get to a point where there's two to three weeks where you just can't budge. You cannot go up any. As a matter of fact, you feel like you're weaker. The best advice that I have here is drop the weight by 10%. If it's 315 pounds, drop 30 pounds from the bar and work your way back up. It's almost like you're taking one step back to take two steps forward. That is the same principle as a deload, except you're doing it over a longer term period where we're gonna deduce the weight on the bar and then slowly reclimb our way back up to hopefully reacclimate and rebuild past said point. In regards to diet, if you are somebody whose goal is to lose body fat and you've been dieting, 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 and you're hitting a stalling point where you're just not making any further progress. First of all, are we quantifying information like our calorie intake, our macronutrient intake? Are we quantifying our training and our cardiovascular activity? If the answer is yes to all of those things, the best thing in my opinion that has helped a lot of people, instead of cutting more calories, because God knows that's only gonna mess with your mind even more, instead of doing that, take a one to two day diet break. Do not track your macros for two days. The reason I say this is more often than not, psychologically it can help to avoid the stress of knowing that you have to hit a certain calorie value and also allowing yourself that time to add more calories back in and almost in the same fashion as taking weight off the bar, add some calories back in so that you can rebound and start back fresh. You might gain a few pounds of water weight during this time period, but that doesn't mean that you're going to regain all the fat. It is simply giving your body a break. Another tip that I have for those of you guys that are more extreme in the fact of you might be a competitor or you might be just on a hardcore program or template is to change your macronutrient profile around a little bit. More often than not, I'm going to be the guy that recommends moderate fat, high carb, moderate protein in most training regimens. However, if you're finding yourself stalling, maybe switch your carbs for more protein. Protein is thermogenic in nature. It's also more satiating in nature. So you might end up burning more calories just by changing up the sources of food in which you're obtaining. Hope this has helped. This is what to do when you stall out, whether it's in the gym or whether it's on your diet. If you've got any questions, as always, shoot us a message. If you like the video, share it with your friends, hit subscribe right here, and we appreciate you. We will see you next time.